بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to, to Tajweed Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad In the last two lessons we started the Makhari al-Huruf The articulation points of the letters We found out that there are five different areas that 20, the 20 letters they can be pronounced from, five different areas. We started the first three areas. We looked at the al jawf the empty part of the throat and the, the mouth. Then in the last lesson, we looked at the nasal passage, al khayshum and also the shafatan, the two lips. Today, inshallah, we're going to look at the fourth part, fourth area that the letters can come out from. We're going to look at the, the al halq We'll find out what al halq is, how many letters, how many makhraj points, how to clearly pronounce to pronounce these letters and also at the end we're going to look at the common mistakes that people make so we can avoid these mistakes have a look at the board Al-Halqiyah means the throat so here and we're dealing with here the fourth part al hal the throat so on, inside the throat there are three different makhraj points three different makhraj points for six letters so these six letters are called the throat letters because whenever we pronounce it they come out from the throat so if you feel to say ha or a or ha or ghayn and hold your throat, you find out they come from here. The, these letters are called the throat letters. So six letters in three different parts. Number one, in the lower part, Hamza and, and uh, Ha. Number two, in the middle part of the throat, Ha and Ayn. Number three, in the upper part, Kha and Ghayn. These six letters, throat letters, they're very uncommon in many languages. In the English language, this, there's just uh, ha, Hamza and Ha only. As for Ha, Ayn, Ghayn, Kha, they're not pronounced in the English language. So those, those who are from Eng English-speaking backgrounds, we just have to put a little bit more effort and we practice, inshallah, we'll get it right. So we have here, number one, Hamza, which is the lower part of the road. Hamza is equivalent to the A letter in, in the English language. So A, uh, like apple, A, uh, A, uh, with E's, very simple, A, uh, An'amta. We open our mouth, A, uh, An'amta, An'amta. Then we have here, Ha. Ha, Huda, Huda, Ha, He, Hu, Huda. These two letters are very, very simple to to, uh, to understand. Now we have here Ha. Imagine Ha is like imagine this spicy hot food, or the middle part of the throat squeezing itself. So Ha, Ha, Sid, Ha, Sid. Then we have here Ain, Ain. Open our mouth, a, ayn, like there's a fruit, we want to bite a fruit, a, a, so ayn, amma, amma, we have here, kha, kha, imagine scratches on the, the sound of scratching, so, kha, sira, kha, kha, sira, then we have here, ghayn, imagine gargling water, ghayn, ghayri, ghayri, so we have here, two letters, lower part of the throat, hamza and ha, Middle part of the thought, ha and ayn, and upper part of the thought, kha and ghayn. Now let's look at some of the common mistakes that people make when they pronounce these letters. These are common mistakes. We, we, we hear this on a regular basis. So number one here, the word ya'muru. Whenever there's a hamza sakina, hamza with a sukun, hamza with a sukun, we have to make sure we do not produce a qalqala, an echo sound. So here, ya'muru, ya'muru, and not ya'muru. Ya amuru, we do not bounce it, echo sound. Ya amuru is wrong. So just go to the to the makhra, it didn't come out. Ya muru, ya muru, ya muru, not ya amuru. Here. Next one, wa huwa and wa hiya. This is very common as well. Wa huwa, we have to make sure that the dhamma and dhamma here and the kasra wa hiya, they're pronounced clearly. So if I say wa huwa ladi, wa huwa ladi, this is clear. But if I say wa huwa ladi, wa wa huwa. Wah, I'm putting a sukun. Wah, huwa ladhi is wrong. So, qul huwa Allah. No, qul huwa Allah. No, qul huwa Allah. Qul huwa Allah. The word wahiya, same thing. Wahiya, no, wahiya. If I say wahiya, I'm putting a sukun there. Wah, wahiya. Wahiya, wahiya. No, wah, wahiya. Wahiya. We have here, when the two letters of the, th when the two, two letters from the throat letters, they're next to each other, two of the same letters, we have to be careful that not joining. Like here, Taqa'a'ala, two ayns are together. Taqa'a, taqa'a'ala, taqa'a'ala. We have to make, make sure that it's pronounced clearly. وذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى, فيه هدى, two has. فيه هدى, 
فيه هدى وتطلعوا على تطلعوا على we have to make sure we do not join them together which is very common and the last one is المغضوب غير المغضوب the غين here a lot of the times people they change it some people they change it to قاف مقضوب مقضوب because why because غين is not in the language we have to make make sure the غين is pronounced properly غا غا المغضوب and there's no قلقلة like the همزة here no مغضوب 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 المغضوب so today we looked at the الحلق the throat we looked at the الحلق we found out there are three different مخرج points one in the lower part of the throat middle part of the throat and upper part of the throat and we know that these letters are not pronounced many languages we just have to put a bit more extra effort we practice inshallah we'll get it right uh, the lower part of the road, Hamza and, and uh, Ha, middle, Ha and Ain, and upper part, Kha and Ghain, these are from the common mistakes that people make. So inshallah, in the next lesson, we're going to do the last part of the, of the, of the areas of where the, throat, of where the letters come out from, which is Al-Lisan, the tongue, which has the most letters. We'll find out which letters come out from Al-Lisan, how many Makhraj points, how to clearly say the letters, and some of the common mistakes or some of the mistakes that people make, so we avoid it. Until then, Jazakumullah khairan, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.